New seasonal fusion rifle scatter signal is way more broken than you realize. It just requires you to put on the right artifact mods. This is the exact god roll that you should be looking for. We're going to go with enhanced controlled burst. This is landing every shot in a burst grants this weapon increased damage and reduced charge time for an improved duration. Now, how much weapon damage does this add and how much of the charge time does it reduce? The exact amount reads here upon scoring a hit with every bolt in the burst or with a weapon kill, it will grant 20% increased damage and a 0.9 times multiplier charge time for two seconds. That makes this weapon definitely a really good choice for burst DPS. We tested this out on the Templar and it can actually put in some pretty crazy numbers, way crazier than any other fusion once we get to the artifact mods in a moment. The best perk in the left-hand column is gonna be overflow. And the reason why is because picking up special or heavy ammo loads the weapon uh, even further beyond normal capacity. And because this weapon is a craftable weapon, you can get the enhanced overflow trait. Now, normal overflow will double the magazine, but enhanced overflow gives you a 120%, so more than double the usual magazine size, which means you can just absolutely dump a ton of fusion rifle shots into a boss and not have to reload very much. The next part of the god roll is accelerated coils, and then I personally went with airhead break just so it would have really nice vertical recoil, and then of course boss spec on this. Now let's jump into the artifact mod and why this is super, super strong with this. We have unraveling orbs here, picking up an orb of power, grants strand weapons unraveling rounds, and those unraveling rounds are just doing damage by themselves to the boss damage over time you can see here as i'm shooting the first dungeon boss there's those little grand bits flying around the boss and that's from unraveling orbs because i picked up an orb just before getting into the damage phase and this also pairs with the torch perk this season and torch reads while radiant deal increased weapon damage to combatants affected by strand and stasis debuffs so because we pick up an orb of power and we affect the enemy with unraveling rounds which is a strand debuff we also get to benefit from the five percent damage increase from torch previously i was using riptide because it has chill clip on it and it affects enemies with stasis but now after realizing that torch would apply to this fusion i'm never putting on that again riptide can go spend some time in the vault this is the weapon to use this season but technically if you don't have this crafted yet which you should go craft it go do the coil until you get all the red frames for it you could alternatively use the nox perennial this is also a strand fusion rifle but it's going to be a completely different charge time it's on the other side the high impact frame so it's a much slower charge time it'll still benefit from those artifact mods the exact same though and even though it's a much slower charge charge time, slower charge time fusion rifles benefit from a little bit more sustained DPS, whereas the high fire rate fusions are a little more for burst DPS. The Nox Perino can get some of the same perks too, like controlled burst, but it's not a craftable weapon though, so you're not going to get the enhanced traits of these. So just keep that in mind that the Nox Perino is kind of like a great value version of Scatter Signal, like a lot of you probably already have Nox Perino, but I would highly recommend to get this weapon this season. This is easily one of the most desirable weapons that you're going to want to use as you're grinding through Destiny 2 content in Season 23, simply because of the knowledge of how all of those things synergize. And one other thing that's important to note with this is that you might think that you need to use a solar subclass in order to get Radiant to proc, but that's definitely not the case. Because of the seasonal artifact as well, you can use this perk right here, which is Flint Striker, Rapid Solar Weapon Precision Hits, and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows, Grant Radiant. So you can use Sunshot, or Solar Machine Gun, or Zali's Bane, or anything that you like that's a solar weapon. Getting those Rapid Precision Hits will give you Radiant and then feed into this loop, which also does technically tie into other perks on the artifact, like Rays of Precision, while Radiant Solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite so the synergy there is absolutely perfect and then we also have kindling trigger radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorched to unscorched combatants i don't know how strong this one is particularly I haven't tested this one thoroughly but i would say that the ability to scorch combatants is really nice with a variety of different solar subclasses due to the fragment ember of singeing which is your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets so it's just a good gameplay loop to get your class ability back a little bit faster and the last thing i'll mention with unraveling orbs which is pick up an orb of power grant strand weapons unraveling rounds is that you can generate orbs way faster and way easier as long as you have this artifact mod on as well which is wished into being while your super is nearly fully charged ability final blows spawn orbs of power so it's pretty easy every time you start an encounter if you rally the flag you get your super fully charged if you get an ability kill you'll just create a bunch of orbs as soon as you create those orbs you'll pick them up by picking up those orbs your strand fusion rifle will then get unraveling rounds when your strand fusion rifle has unraveling rounds it does five percent more damage every single time you shoot them not to mention the unraveling rounds do damage to the boss as well and the entire gameplay loop continues on and on and on and you basically just profit by having a really, really smart artifact selection for season 23 and really powerful weapon here with scatter signal. One other thing to keep in mind as you watch the gameplay behind me here is that when an ally dies or you reach critical health, this weapon refills its magazine. I believe that happens to me when I'm shooting this first boss. If you watch this gameplay, I'm able to just dump endless fusion rifle shots. Obviously you're not going to try and get brought to critical health, but when you're rocking restoration times two builds, it does happen from time to time because so much stuff is shooting you. This will also increase the range and the charge rate on top of everything, making this weapon just truly bust. This is the weapon to craft for season 
season 23 because of this. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below and click on the screen here to watch another video from the channel. And if you're feeling thirsty out there, make sure to use code LUCKY10P to save some money on G Fuel. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitch and Kick. I go live all the time playing Destiny 2. Lastly, make sure you're following me on X, Instagram, and TikTok where I deliver Destiny 2 news to you daily. I appreciate all the followers out there.